Truly speaking, my wife was very irritated. Therefore, oh. I wasn't able to have breakfast today. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever my wife yells, then I increase the volume of the television. Not everyone is as lucky as you are. <laughs> Anyways, we are helpless. How are you all? Hello, Pratap. How are you? Doing great. Where are you nowadays? Cannot see you around. What is it? Seems like your diet is going on well. Your paunch is growing. <laughs> Hey, what's it? Go away from here. Come on, go. Coming and spoiling our moods. Where are your parents, dear? Listen, give him something to eat. Listen, sir, he comes here every day. Hey, come on, get out, go. Listen, feed him every day from tomorrow. I'll pay for it. All right, sir. What's going on? We were just discussing about issues. You know, same old about wife wives. problems. And after all, she's the biggest problem, you know. Hello. Hello, Inspector Pratap. Quickly go and check what happened in Saugard Cottage number 21. All right. You had called on the helpline number. What happened? Did someone break into your house? Why are you quiet? I have killed that person. Whom did you kill? Come on, let's sit on the sofa. Come.
What is your name? Moni. Moni, the person who is dead in that room. Do you know him? Hmm. How long have you known him? How did you meet? Tell me from the start. His name is Raman Chadda. A year back, we were in a live-in relationship. While living together, I got to know that he's a drug addict. He never worked, and he used to ask me money for drugs. When I didn't give him the money, he used to hit me and would abuse me. He used to harass me sexually too. I was tired of his behavior. I started getting scared, and I broke up with him. His ego got hurt, and therefore he didn't leave me. He used to force himself on me. Then one day. He showed me the video of our intimacy. He started blackmailing me. He demanded five lakh rupees. I didn't have so much money. I borrowed three lakhs from friends and relatives. I gave him three lakhs. But still, he was after me. Therefore, I started living here, hiding from him. Which city did you come from? Old Delhi. What happened next? He followed me all the way till this house. He forcefully entered. I was coming outside my room, and I saw that he was. Already sitting on the sofa. Moni, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. You, what are you doing here? I cannot believe my own eyes that what really happened here. <laughs> What did you think? That you could leave me so very easily, and then I would let you go so easily? <laughs> no, baby, no. These are just your thoughts. By the way, you're looking very hot. Please come. Come near me. Yes, I just remembered that I still have that video with me. I was thinking of making it viral and then make you famous on social media. Everywhere your name will be flashed. How is my idea? Leave right now or else I will call the police. You are threatening me. Murder happened in the hall. How come the body is in the bedroom? Actually, that landlord.
प्लीज पुट मी इन जेल हैंग मी टू डेथ आई किल्ड हिम आई एम अ मर्डर I didn't want to kill him. I didn't want to kill him. I didn't want to kill him. <laughs> Calm down. You haven't murdered anyone. It all happened in self-defense. Where do your parents live? I have never seen my parents. In fact, I don't know why do we have parents. I am an orphan. I found myself living in an orphanage. There I was a victim of child abuse. With great difficulty I completed graduation. I got a job and there I met Raman. When Raman came in my life I thought that I finally found a perfect life partner. But he made my life worse than hell. In Delhi what were you working as? I was a receptionist in a hotel. How long you have been here? It's been 15 days. I have a friend in Delhi. Through his reference I got a receptionist job in that resort. This was my chance to run away from him. Then I I came here. Did you tell anyone else other than me about this murder? Hmm. I could only tell if I had someone. You haven't committed this murder. I will help you. Hello Saugard Police Station. Inspector Pratap Singh speaking. From Saugard Hills Cottage number 21. A thief uh, tried to enter in here but uh, after he saw me he ran away. So then do I need to register a complaint? No. The complainant is refusing. Okay. Whose car is this? It's of Raman. Come with me. Wash this knife and bring it. <sighs> Listen, do you know where is his mobile? It must be around. I, I don't know. All right, bring the knife. found it but it's showing no sim i think raman had planned to murder you <sighs> and he knew police would suspect him when his mobile will be traced his location will show off a different place but if he removes the sim card what was the point of carrying the mobile doesn't make sense There is no logic to it. Knife. 
स्ट्रेंज कम हेल्प मी could it be i don't know go and check and whoever it is don't let it enter hmm. ma'am hmm. i have come early today and hmm. brought you a favorite food Hmm. Thank you. At, at least give me the tiffin that I give you in the morning. Take both the tiffins tomorrow. Hmm. Uh, all right. And yes, there is a car standing out. Do you have guests at home? Someone has come. Hmm. All right. If you want food, then I'll bring more. Just give me a call. Okay. All right. was it the tiffin boy it's dangerous to take out the body at this hour we'll leave at night till then we will have to wait here why are you doing all this <laughs> probably for you but why i don't know but i do know is both of us have one thing in common being alone just like you i am also alone in this world i mean i'm not an orphan but i have lost my parents long back i had also a beautiful wife like you but she too is no more so you're helping me because i'm beautiful you will ask something in return i think you have a very wrong assumption about me the truth is we have just met and i have started liking you the food will get cold actually i'm starving would you share it your plan about what in regards to raman's body well there is a jungle nearby just half an hour away we'll take raman's body and bury it there where there is nobody there will be no case what about his car yes about his car after dropping you back here i'll take his car and park it in c center c center hmm You know the crime scenes from from where cars are seized. Similarly, illegal goods carriers. These vehicles are unclaimed. After some time, the police park these vehicles in C Center. <laughs> Thousands of vehicles are parked there for so many years. Some of the parts are stolen and sold in Chor Bazaar. It's quite common. Some are scrapped, and police don't maintain records of them. I'll just park Raman's car there, and then his. 
vehicle's parts will get stolen and only the body will be left. And yes, the sea center is quite far from here. It'll take around three hours to reach there. Hmm. And his mobile? Look. Though there is no SIM card in the mobile, it has an IMEI number through which its location can be tracked. So we'll have to destroy the mobile. I'm the policeman, but you are questioning. You are a policeman, but have the brain of a criminal. Did you say something? Uh, nothing. Do you have chilled water? I would be having in the fridge. I'll get no, it. No, no, you please sit. I'll bring it. Do you drink wine? No. Whom does it belong to? These are not mine. These belongs to those who were staying here before me. I was about to dispose it. Then the landlord called me, saying that they will come here and collect the wine from here. Therefore, I have kept it. Who's calling you? Landlord. Hmm. What does he want? Probably for the wine. Tell him to come tomorrow. And also tell him that you are out of town. Hmm. Uh, hello? Yes, uncle. Actually, I'm not at home today. I'm doing night duty. So, I will be back tomorrow morning. Yes, yes, no problem. Uh, you can collect it tomorrow anytime. Yes. Bye, uncle. Stay cool just like you are. Have your food. Change your clothes. My clothes are in the room where Raman's body is and I am getting scared of changing my clothes there. Why? I am here. You mean to say that I should change clothes in front of you? <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. You can change in the bathroom. I am still scared so will you please come with me? Mm, yes, of course. You please wait over here. Sir, please don't stare at me like that. It's time to go now. You go and open the car's dicky and I'll get the body. Hold on. 
ये लिफ्ट इट Pratap, where are you going so late at night? And who is this madam with you? Who is she? She is my friend Moni. I'm just dropping her home as her car broke down. Madam, greetings. They are my friends Rajnath and Prakat. Hello, madam. How come you are doing duty here? Inspector had given us duty here and ruined our whole night, you know. Okay, no problem. Let's meet at the Dhaba tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll meet you there after my duty. Then we'll meet. All right? Hey, you. Let them go. Feeling very dizzy, so I will go and sit in the car. Okay. Fifty percent work is done, and fifty percent is left. Believe me, your secret will be only between us. You can live your life tension-free now. I'm very grateful to you. Okay, let's leave from here now.
I'll go and keep the car in the sea center and we'll be back tomorrow morning. You don't take any tension now. Just relax. Everything's under control. the landlord of this cottage oh so you are the landlord sorry moni has told me about you you had come to take something from the refrigerator right where is moni who moni the one that stays here your tenant moni i don't know any moni you don't know moni but uh, she knows you you are here to take the red wine from the refrigerator right but how do you know that the red wine is in the refrigerator moni told me her name is monika lahiri oh now i understand one girl with two names full name is monika lahiri and nickname is moni meaning moni from monika and monika from moni is that right yes you are right but where is she who Come on, Monica and Moni both, one girl with two names. She left in the morning. What do you mean she left? Where did she go? I don't know that. You don't know. Didn't you ask her where is she going? Why would I ask the person leaving when we don't ask the person who's coming? People come here when they wish and leave. This is my business. So you allow anyone to stay over here? not anyone sir we ask them to deposit the advance payment we accept id proof okay all right get the photocopy of the id sir we don't accept the photocopy of the id uh she appeared to be from a good family it is my mistake i admit but why are you inquiring about her um nothing she is my friend good friend Oh good friend I think that she has some problem in her life she seemed very worried she was in a big hurry and she left all of a sudden and she didn't take the advance money back Ma'am ma'am who are you Um I am the tiffin boy I was here to take the tiffin Wait wait I'll give you the tiffin
take these two tiffins and here's the money as well and don't bring the tiffin from tomorrow ma'am has left ma'am has left yes and you go too so, uh, sir is there any problem did she tell something about her no she was here since long she might have told you something not from many days sir only for one day what do you mean by one day how long have you been here it's been 15 days when did she come here she came yesterday morning and left today morning where did she go from mumbai What city do you belong to? Old Delhi. Why was she here? She wanted to write a story for a film. I have a friend in Delhi. Because of his reference, I was able to get a job of a receptionist over here. She told me that she wanted to write a film story alone. the name of the film yes client number 7 the name was good and the film becomes a hit by the name hello control room inspector pratap singh speaking batch number Two two three three five six five six. Yes, trace two numbers urgently. Sir, please tell me the numbers. The first number is nine three two four five six six two seven three two. And the second number received a call at three p.m. in the afternoon yesterday. Savan Hills Cottage number twenty one. I want all the details of both the numbers. Okay, sir. You will get in half an hour. Okay. This was given by Monica for you. <sighs> no one was here apart from me and Moni. Who filmed this video? Hmm? Hello Sir both the numbers are the same the sim card is on Ramesh Chadda's name and the address is Gurgaon Haryana the number is switched off right now but the last location is around Saugard Hills Put the number on surveillance and call me once the location is traced Okay sir Take this, two million rupees, and please give me that video. Hmm. But we had a deal of two point five million, right? I don't have more money. We can do one thing. Take the video, 
when you pay the entire amount no 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 i want that video right now oh then you have to pay the entire amount look i have already given you a lot of money expensive jewelry expensive mobiles expensive clothes i've given you everything even the car that is standing outside that is also given by me you're absolutely right you have given me everything but you know what you didn't give me anything for free in return of that you have scratched my whole body you don't get anything for free raman and you have not taken anything for free look money i don't want to argue or debate on this matter you was 2.5 million from me i gave you 2 million rupees now i want that video otherwise you will be in a lot of trouble oh my god what are you saying you are forgetting the car that i gave you the papers are still on my name even the mobile you're using and the sim card in that that is also on my name i just need to lodge a complaint in the police and you will be behind the bars <laughs> mr raman chadda the private number that you used for calling me and sending me romantic texts are saved in my mobile and you know what yesterday yesterday your wife what's her name uh, pallavi chadda i saw her profile she's very pretty and i'm really jealous of her are you blackmailing me under my wife's name i'm thinking i'm thinking that i should post the video on the timeline of facebook how is the idea mr raman chadda now you're showing your real status this is your real identity even after sleeping with many men you can never be anyone's wife i don't want to be a wife of men like you that cheats on their own wife and sleeps with prostitutes as far as status is concerned you are like that dog in front of me that goes crazy looking at the bone you're greedy for it you are the same dog be quiet <laughs> 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 What should we do? Let's do this, Uncle. Let's keep the cops in the room. In the room? Yes. Let's let's drag it. Please help okay. me. <coughs> Be careful. careful. Hold on. You hold the legs. Just hold them. Sorry. Uh. Uh. Uncle, uncle clean the blood. Please clean it, uncle. Okay, okay. Okay. Uncle, keep this bag with you, and you leave from here. But how can I leave you alone? Yes, Uncle, the cops will be here. 
Why will they come? Uncle, if the cops come, I will tell them that Raman was my ex-boyfriend and he had my intimate video and was blackmailing me. And that's why I came here. He followed me here and he wanted to kill me. I murdered him in self-defense. Now take this. But Raman was your your client, right? How can you prove that he is your ex-boyfriend? Uh, uncle, I have the car and mobile given by him. Please, please take this and just leave from here. Don't come here again and don't call me, okay? Take this. Look, I have cleaned the floor properly. Not even a single yes. stain can be seen. Yes, please go now, uncle. Okay. Uh, uncle, yeah. Uh, uh, Hello, hello, please help me. He will kill me. Please help me soon. He's at my home. Who is speaking? I'm, I'm Moni. He, he will kill me. He's in my house. Please come soon. Who is going to kill you? My ex-boyfriend. He has turned psycho. He, he has a knife in his hand. He can kill me any time. Please, I have less time. Come. Where are you speaking from? Please give you address. Saugur Hills, cottage number 21. Uh, please, please come soon. Please don't worry. The cops will be there in five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did you call the police? I murdered him. Policeman is under my influence. Now he will help me in wiping the proof of Raman's murder. Who is calling? Uh, uh, landlord. Yes, uncle. Yes, uncle. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, you can take it tomorrow. I'll be at home. What are you saying? I just cannot understand. Is everything fine? Yes, yes. Uh, it's fine. Bye, uncle. You please wait here. Uncle, what did I say? Don't call me. Then why are you calling me again and again? Monica, I was, I was so worried for you. Uncle, I'm fine. Don't call me again. I'm feeling a little dizzy. Please let me sit in the car. Okay. Uncle, you quickly come here with the briefcase. Yes.
Uncle, you got so late. Thank you. Take this, uncle. Two lakh rupees. I'm going. You have to do one more job. Keep this mobile with you. I have formatted it and all the data has been deleted. There's only one video clip in it. Send it to the inspector very cunningly. But uncle, be very smart about this. No one should find out about this. And then switch off your mobile. Okay, your work will be done. Uncle, but be very smart. And the mobile shouldn't be found by the inspector or the plan will completely fail. But what should I do with this? This mobile and the SIM are on Raman Chadda's name. We are completely safe. But still, we need to destroy it. May I ask you something? What is it, uncle? The plan was different and uh, something else happened. <laughs> this is all because of my sensuous beauty. Oh, I got it. You made the policeman your client. <laughs> <laughs> uncle, will you please drop me at the bus stop on your bike? Yes, yes. Yeah, it is six already. The buses must have started. All right. One more job, Uncle. Yes, yes. Take this. Papers. Give them to the inspector without fail. What is this? Inspector Pratap Singh's gift. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Yes. Hello? Did you trace the number? This is a private number, so we cannot trace the location. Thank you.